What is up, board game baddies, party people, folks of all kinds. We're going to be playing some Suicide Russian Checkers this week. It is just like Suicide Checkers that we played last week. Not Suicide, excuse me, Russian Checkers that we played last week. With the exception that instead of trying to win this time, much like with the variants of chess that are anti-variants, you are purposely trying to... Excuse me. <clears throat> I'm full of sandwiches and carrot and apple. I'm a happy camper. Um, just like anti-chess, anti-other games, we are trying to lose on purpose. You are trying to put your pieces into positions that will get them captured. So I should be pretty stinking good at this. If you, if you have no pieces, you win. If you have no pieces, you win. The goal is to lose. The harder you lose, the better. I believe if you have no moves, you win. Yes. So if it were, if it were, if you were boxed into a corner and had no legal moves that you could make, or if someone takes all of your pieces, in this case, that would be Megaton Travis. Well then, game over. Travis, I saw something crazy the other night. I was at my win I was making dinner, and there's a window right by my stove. So sometimes while I'm like waiting for things to cook, I will, um, for example, longingly gaze out the window. Well, my friend. I have it down below my window if I were to look at the ground instead of out at the valley. Um, <clears throat> well, I would see a, a parking garage. It's not a parking garage. It's like a one-story set of garages where over top is concrete. So, like, kids can go up there. Teenagers go up there and hang out. And I like to I like to spy on the kids, man, because like kids just do drugs there. I like it's wild. Um, and so, what was crazy is that uh, I watched these two girls, like they're little kids over on the other side of this um, garage complex, playing and stuff. And these two girls that are maybe high school aged. Fucking crushing up pills and snorting them, and I'm 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 like multiple floors up off the ground, and I can just I'm just like watching them do this. It's crazy, because my thing is like, certainly, you've looked around, right? I would imagine that a, a little. Uh, It's just a wee bit of <clears throat> just a wee bit of uh, secrecy might benefit you in those cases. Apparently not. I say that because my mom's the type of person who looks out the window with people at the parking lot across the street from my childhood home, Travis, and will be like, are those kids doing drugs? I'm calling the cops. So here's what I'm curious about, Travis. Earlier today, you shared an article about some scientists connecting brains. Yes. I want to know all about that because I did not have time this morning to read the article. Uh, I don't think there's much to it. Um, right now, it was... Man, I'm, I'm, was, I know I've read things about, like, and they have done things with 2D wall. Ah. Uh. In different ways. But it was three people playing Tetris, I'm pretty sure. Ooh. And they're, like, deciding on um, 
where it goes and like what direction the thing falls in. Yeah. Payroll. At least said, said that this is success and that scaling it up should be pretty normal for, for pay recruits. Oh man, I didn't see payroll. Payroll was asking if we were live on Discord. I don't know. Are we live on Discord? We're uh, live on Twitch. Darn. Is there any way for us to be live on Twitch and Discord at the same time? I mean, I don't know what live on Discord means. I, I think it's similar to being live on Twitch. Where did he post that? He posted in the in the IG Game Center chat. Oh, he's already gone. I'll just, I, I'm, I'll be sure to keep my eyes. I've been trying to pay more attention to our Twitch since that's where we usually get people chatting with us. I forget sometimes that payroll uses this website. <clears throat> Excuse me. So do you have any idea with the uh, brain connections, like what kind of cool stuff they would be able to do besides like anticipating Tetris moves? Well, they talk about more of like um, group, group problem solving. Aha, uh -huh, interesting. You can actually solve some of the world's problems because you can <laughs> they actually let people like hide one another. Yeah, that's a good point. You've been different place. So, do you think then you could be in different places and just like up in your head, all be having a group conversation? Yeah, pretty much. Wow, that's probably not the best move, but I'm gonna lose anyway. So, expedite. Great job, guys. Let's do it again. Woo! <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, let's do this party, people. What'll be funny is uh, to see what kind of like hilarious stuff you could come up with for hacking with people who have their brains connected. Like, all right, I hacked their brains. So instead of being able to communicate uh, they all when one of them has the urge to pee, they all have the urge to pee. But it's like a guessing game because you got to know who's who. You might go to the bathroom and try and still not be able to figure it out. No, I don't think we did either. <clears throat> yeah, I think the king. I think I think that's one of the the caveats of of Russian checkers is that you cannot have backwards captures. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So then you can actually capture the wrong G five. Yeah. Oh. Yep. Sorry. Darn.
But why do you do so much clicking? Do you have the Do you have the confirmation button enabled? Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. The other thing I was thinking with suicide Russian checkers is I don't know that you can wind up with you know how usually with drafts one of the great things that you can do is you run into this uh. The thing where you can make, like, if you have a, a column of pieces, you can get, like, three, four different captures. I, th I don't know if you would be able to pull that off with Suicide Russian Checkers. Or with any of the Suicide variants. Yeah. This episode of Pleasing Geometric Shapes, Travis makes a carrot sign. <clears throat> Got to turn my velocity meter down. Getting too excited. We're gonna use that confirmation button from now on. Oh, I see. Um, let's see. It's going to be a, a very close game, to say the least. Thank 
Yeah, unless I goof real hard in the last move or two. But, uh. Yeah, I think I. Sorry. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'll tell you that last game when I took when I had that double take with my king, I thought that was going to be the end of me. A lot of times an anti having pieces at the end is is better than not having pieces. That's true. Yeah. Because like when I only had that one option to either go, you know, only left or right forwards. And yeah. That's how it goes. Doesn't leave with me with any options. Oh no, not my king.
I think this is going to be a close one. I've got pretty good control of the center of the board right now. It's like a reverse fork. Which double capture are you going to take, Travis? That's what I figured. Better to take a trade. He had, the, he had the pieces moving, didn't he? I was like, oh, this might be the perfect time for me to crawl on the rug you have hanging on your wall, Travis. I love to do this because then I know Travis will pet me. So now this is going to be really interesting because we both have the same amount of pieces. So just like you were saying earlier, it's advantageous to have more pieces at the end of a, any suicide match. Well, well now it's... What? Not what? I mean, not all the time. It can be. You usually want to have more options. That's true. That's true. Yeah. But here, the, the amount of options we have is almost exactly what it would be where... We to have started out, I mean, obviously the same as if we start out with the same amount of pieces. What's hard here is that no matter which move I make, you're going to be able to move into a capture. So what I have to think about, and you're going to be able to do so the move after as well, depending on which one I play. Except for that. I think that's the only move that wouldn't move me into a capture. And possibly two in a row, realistically. I think you got this one in the bag, Travis. Let's see. Hmm. There's been uh, four new episodes of It's Always Sunny. Uh huh. Uh, that's that's been doing a pretty good season so far. Awesome. What's what uh which uh season are they on right now?
Wow, nice. Wow. I don't know that I'm even caught up. I'm pretty sure they're the longest running, I don't know, like, live action show or something. Awesome. Like This is going to be a close one. Hooey! More options here may afford me a win. But you know what? You know what? A sign of a good game played is when there's only one piece left on the board. Like at that point, I don't even care about winning or losing. It means we've more or less played a perfect game. All right. So I told you how Alma's dad like had uh, four kilos of apples this year, and uh, he, he gave us a bunch. And so we made we made a Bosnian style pita, which is a little bit, for lack of a better reference, semi similar to baklava. You use like the same sort of like uh, yufka dough that baklava uses and you just put layers of apple and uh, usually with most traditional Bosnian desserts you um, you you put agda on it. Agda is just like a sugar syrup basically. Usually you put a ton of sugar into some water make it nice and thick and pour it over the dessert as soon as it comes out of the oven. Now her dad also gave us bunch of apple juice that was pressed just straight from his apples nothing else added so we took that and we added some sugar to that Ooh. and then we poured that all over and just added a bunch of extra apple flavor mm. so good You have any dreams last night, Travis? Shame, shame. You're missing out on all those parallel universes. Yeah. 
You say you get more sleep? I need to get more sleep. Oh yeah. It's tough, man. I've been uh, I've started tracking tracking my sleep and from every uh, uh, now I did a bunch of I read a bunch of articles because I wasn't sure if um I have a, a Fitbit. I wasn't sure if the Fitbit was as accurate in terms of sleeping as it could be. So I uh, I read some articles and it said that for the most part it pretty much is. But one thing that I was surprised by is this is like I'll get up at nine thirty and I'll get up at five thirty. So that should be eight hours. I mean Sure, it's going to take some time to fall asleep. Maybe wake up a little bit during the night. But there are times where I spend eight hours in bed, but I'm only getting like seven and a half hours. Yeah. It's like, I wish I wish we could do, I wish we had like computer abilities where it was like shutting down, you know? Or you could just be like, it's, it's 9.30, pow, go into sleep mode. <laughs> Rest for a solid... Seven hours and fifty eight minutes. <clears throat> or I wish the humans cared enough about each other that we could all just agree to add. Like, all right, instead of a 25-hour day, 24-hour day, we're going to do 28. But you got to use those extra hours for sleep. That would be great. I'll tell you what. Payroll is back. Shout out to Payroll. I was wondering how long it was going to take you to do that. Boy, I'll tell you. Really dug myself into a hole. Ooh, yeah, and you got me. You got me good, Travi. One, two, done. Oof. Oof. Au revoir, monsieur. Mon ami. Au revoir. Kids at school will be like, Mr. Matt, your French accent is bad. Like, yeah, it's because I don't speak French. And then the kids, and then they hear me speak Bosnian, they'll be like, I mean, all right, these are younger kids. you got to give them a little bit of a pass. They'll be like, you sound funny when you speak. Is but, uh, yeah, I'd say we could do one more. This is a lightning round. <laughs> what will he do? Find out on the next season of Wednesday evening with town board games. JP. We're not getting funding from anybody, so there are no seasons. Well, YouTube might make it where we can add seasons and episodes for each, for each video. Yeah, I mean, I think, I think the main thing that that would help with would be organization. Because insofar as I'm aware, you can't really... I mean, sure, you can make playlists. But you can't, for example... Um, you can't... I mean, playlists seem like a, a limited form of organization. You know? But also, I feel like when you start to organize it, like seasons, episodes, 
I think we might run into two really interesting possibilities. One of the first really interesting possibilities is that I think it would push content makers to start thinking more about coherent projects on the whole. And secondly, we might even see a push away from pay-based subscription services because you could have people who make shows that are hilarious or really interesting or nature documentaries where they're small time creators and aren't being picked up by Netflix or Hulu or HBO Go. So you could really kind of start decentralizing entertainment. I mean, it's pretty decentralized right now as it is, but we are still kind of in the era of Netflix and pay-based subscription services. I guess though, that could also drive privatization of YouTube. Probably not though. I think YouTube would lose a lot of money if they did that. I don't know though, a lot of kids, like a lot of the kids that I teach who are younger, like sixth grade and younger, yeah, I mean over those ages as well, a lot of, a lot of the youth these days, a lot of the youth these days spend a lot of time watching YouTube. So, certainly uh, interesting to see how how quickly there's a shift in entertainment between the generations. I'm sure I'm sure that's just something that everybody realizes at a certain point when they think about it a little bit as they get older. But still, aging is a wild experience. I can't wait to be incontinent. Put me in a diaper and call me grandpa. Just kidding, my grandpa doesn't wear diapers. He has full capacity with his rectal muscles. Shout out to my grandpa. Uh-oh, indeed, because I have two more moves where you're going to lose a piece. Where I'm going to lose pieces, rather. Although it does put me in the position of having significantly fewer options. I got a lot of pieces here, huh? so. Yeah. I think that you will probably win just based on the fact that I only have two pieces right now. I'm going to have a hard time, sorry for all the wild camera movements. I'm going to have a really hard time uh, making it back from this one, especially when I take four of your pieces. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me, five of your pieces. On the plus side, now I have a king, and you will have one piece remaining. So, there is a very small chance, and the, the, the important word there is small. There is an incredibly incredibly small chance that you may be able to win. Oh no, that I might be able to win. I mean, personally, I'm putting money on you, so you better win this. Or Alma's going to be laughing at my pocket. I just... <laughs> Yeah. 
Here we go, boys. You got that good old one two in there, ye. As Mr. Kanye West likes to say, yeet. Another perfect game. I finally found something that I'm competitive with at Travis. Competitive at Travis. Competitive with Travis at. That's a better way to say that. All right. Well, folks, thanks for tuning in. Tune in next week. We're going to be playing some British checkers. And then the week after that, we'll be doing anti-British. And then we're probably going to do some more wild, wild, wild variants of checkers. It's going to be an exciting couple of months. Yeah. Um, well, I might say you want to do next week because it's kind of like Russian checkers. Okay, great. Yeah. I would be wholly open to any suggestions. And if you watch this and you think, man, I really want to see them play this type of checkers. Well, by all means, you checker fanatics, reach out to us. On the YouTube, on our Discord server, uh, send carrier turkeys or pigeons or your fowl of choice, and we will receive them with open arms. And if they're clean enough, open stomachs. That's all for this week, folks. Be sure to tune in at all times of the week. You can find us on YouTube. You can find us on Twitch. We are all over the place. Scour your local walls for orange and green mangoes. For Mango Town tags, for t shirts, wherever you might find or think about citrus fruit. Until next time, toodaloo!